Hi guys, today we will be playing, I mean, reading Great Galloping Loot. Why is he touching his nose? That is so weird. He's just like this. Yeah. Mm, this is so weird. Oh my god, why do they always show the title again? It is so weird. Okay, um... Oh, Nanny Michael and Michael and Benedict. I think you, Benedict. I think you guys are great. He's tangled up in a kite. How do they even have kites in Africa? The other animals to wait. I think I skipped a page. No, I didn't. Okay. The other animals teased him for being so clumsy. Clumsy. Nobody ever wanted him on their sports team. Why watermelons? They're in Africa. And sports doesn't exist in Africa. You great galoot. They yelled when he dropped the ball. It's a watermelon. Oh my god. You great galoot. They yelled when he dropped the ball again. Oh god. You great galloping galoot. They howled when he missed the goal. God, how do they know go goals in Africa? And there's a turtle just blocking the goals. What the hell? Oh, God. Now that's a big nose. I like a big turd. What the hell? Galoot was called Great Galloping Galoot so often that he came to believe he really was great. I think I skipped a page. No, it didn't. Oh, he's just so great. Oh, look, his mum and dad. Just um, in the background. That is just weird. G. Wait, his name is Galoot? Oh, my God. He remembered what his parents told him. His father said, when walking, walk tall. His mother said, when running, run fast. And they both said, Galoot, always but your best. Now, that's just the best. A superhero. Yeah. Everyone wants that. Spiro. What did you just say? Spiro. One morning, Loot was walking across the long the river bank when he came across elephants. How is that walking? Those feet look like boots. Do you not see that? Oh my god, a bee doesn't have a face. Hello, elephant, said Galoot. Are you going for a swim? No, that's one big butt. No, you great galoot, replied Elephant. That bridge over the river has drifted away. We need to find a way across, but I can't swim, and I don't think I can jump that far. That's one angry elephant. Yep. So, so many fat. bees and a butterfly. Even so a mouse right weird. there. Wait, elephants are scared of mice. That's not... That is just so weird. Can I help you, ask Galoot? No, you great galoot. You, you great galoot. Not likely, scarfed elephant. Oh. The big nose again. Wait, he has green eyes. Never How noticed. rare is that called? Never noticed that. Yet. Oh, God, still green eyes. Usually it changes. <laughs> galoot munched some grass. Oh, great vocabulary. As he munched, he remembered his parents' words. His father said, when walking, walk tall. His mother said, when running, run fast. And they both said, Galoot, always be your best. Or else. <laughs> Lion arrived at the river. He was crying. The king of the jungle, crying. Oh, my God. Oh, dear. <laughs> Where is the words? Oh, what's the matter, Lion? asked Galoot. My cubs are on the other side of the river, said Lion, but I can't swim and I don't think I can jump that far. Just really weird. Now, that's a big nose. Takes up half the page. I could jump across for you, offered Galoot. N you, great Galoot, you never make it across, said Lion. Oh, so sad. A frog in his hair. Oh, wait, that's a mouse. Bloody mouse. 
Glute scratched his nose. Oh, like on the page. Yeah. How amazing, huh? Oh, well. Glute scratched his nose. And as he scratched, he remembered. As he scratched. Oh, God. That is just so weird. His father said. You know, I'm just going to skip that because we've seen that a million times. Soon more animals arrived at the river. Ostrich looked worried. It's nearly morning tea time, she said. The mango trees are on the other side of the river, but I can't swim and I don't think I can jump that far. <laughs> I could jump across, said Gloop. Oh, they're so surprised. He looks like laughing. Where are his legs gone? Tortoise can do it, but where is his legs? But where's that guy's legs? You can't even see his body. Well, it's behind the lion. Yeah, you can see his body right there. Oh, yeah. Now have has got a shave. You the animals all jeered. You can't jump that far, you great galloping galoot. Oh, that is just mean. Oh, Whoever said that, they better go to jail. But Galoot had been told his whole life that he was a great galloping galoot and he believed every word of it. All right, great. He ran towards the river as fast as he could. He, as he ran, he remembered. His father said, when walking also, and we have seen all of this. So he ran as fast as his skinny legs could carry him. Oh, those are skinny legs. Oh, my God. How do you cope with that? God. Running good. faster and faster until... Oh, look. Ouch. He crashed. Of course he couldn't, though. He tripped over a rock and was sent high into the air. Or, uh, wait, sent? How was he sent there? By God or something. Oh! <laughs> Over the river where he landed on the grass with a thud. Ouch. Whee! <laughs> Everyone was astounded that Galoot had made it across the river. But not Galoot, for he knew all along that he would trip over. And when it came to tripping over, he really was great. Oh, look, a log there. Yay. He uses his big nose. Woohoo, yeah. He pushed the bridge back into place. And trotted back across the river. Oops. It's like my mum. She says, oops, when she farts. <laughs> From then on, the other animals had to admit that Glute was indeed a great galloping Glute and hardly ever teased him again for being so clumsy. As for Glute... Oh, look, he's still wet. Yay, they're cheering. Oh, oh, God, he has a butt. As you can see. And you probably can't see, but I can see, but... Oh, those Idiot. little bugs. Bugs. Oh, look, a butt. How offensive. Oh, God. He had known all along that he was great. And that's the end of the book. Still has skinny legs and a big nose and a big butt, of course. Goodbye.